podcast with Eric Bowling brings you business beyond Wall Street. The players, the profits, and who's putting together the next big move. Money Rocks with Eric Bowling. Business beyond Wall Street. Will Democrats get a November thumping? Uh, listen to this before you answer. In a new ABC News Washington Post poll, voters were asked, do you think it is more important to have the Democrats in charge of Congress to help support President Obama's policies or to have the Republicans in charge to act as a check on Obama's policies? 51% want the Republicans in charge, 43% want the Democrats, 6% have no opinion. Joining us live is Rick Klein. He's a senior Washington editor of ABC World News. What do you make of this poll? Well, I, it, what's interesting about that is if you, if you drill down on the numbers, people aren't sold on the Republicans. It's not like they like what the Republicans are going to do for them. In fact, on, on a lot of the issues, they still prefer President Obama and the Democrats, but they do buy into this, this argument about uh, checks and balances, about balancing out what President Obama is doing. And they're, they're likely to, to, to throw their lot with the Republicans or say that they're going to do that, even though they're not thrilled with the Republicans in general. Is there a way to know what drives this? I mean, it, it could be one thing that could be driven, like they may not like health care, or they may not like the ballot, or they may or what may drive them is simply they don't like concentrated power. Yeah, I think that's one thing. I, and there's two other things that, I, that I'd point to. One is independence. That was a big strength for President Obama in, in the campaign, and they have soured on him. They have really gone south and, and are no, no longer supporting him in anything like the numbers that they did during the election. The other is the economy, and we saw a drop just month to month in, in people's approval of how President Obama is handling the economy, a sense of spending going, going out of control, unemployment uh, still very, very high, and the, the sense of the president not being in front of this, not addressing it as fully as people would like. People have, uh, seem to have switched their opinion just in the last couple of weeks over that. Is there any way to know? I mean, it says here 51 percent um, want Republicans in charge, which if um, if a month ago it was at 30 percent, then I would say, oh, my God, at 51 percent, right. it's a big deal. If it were 49 and a half uh, a month ago, I'd think, like, well, this could just be a margin of error. Is this true? Is this? Is there any way to indicate whether this is truly a trend or any, any great sort of moment could come November? Yeah, I mean, you can look at it as recently as last fall, well after the election and when the president was already having some problems, there was a big advantage for Democrats on the so-called generic ballot. Would you rather have a Democrat or Republican uh, controlling controlling Congress? You want to vote for a Democrat or Republican? That's changed entirely. It's been a very long time since we saw this kind of a, of a gap for Republicans on the generic ballot, people saying that they want Republicans to control. So that is a big switch, and it's a big trend, and it's exactly what has Democrats uh, very concerned about this election. All right. Well, if the uh, no opinion went Democrat, they'd be essentially <laughs> tied. Um, what's with the no opinion people? Is 6 percent even significant if no opinion? Opinion. Uh, yeah, I always always wonder about that. There's people that say they, they're not they're not sure on those things. But look, there's going to be late breakers. There's going to be people that change their minds. I'm saying in this is that people are, are souring on their individual members of Congress. There's an old phrase that people hate Congress but love their congressmen, and, and it looks like that may not happen this time around because there's a, a growing number of people who say I'm very much ready to, to find out find out who else is out. At least kick the tires of other candidates. And now Robert Gibbs, the um, uh, president's press secretary, on Sunday, meet the press. Um, basically, so he sort of said, "Well, you know." Could it could easily be that uh, this could the House could go Republican, and then you have Steny Hoyer and uh, Congressman Van Hollen today say no, 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 because I assume there's fundraising problems when the press secretary does that. But um, to what extent did that was that like driving a stake in the heart of the Democrats on Capitol Hill when he said that? Yeah, Democrats on the Hill don't like to hear things like that. They, they Were they mad like, though? I mean, like, are they enraged at this one, or they think that are they going to call up the White House on this one? Well, they know what the White House was doing there, and they they realize where it's coming from. For, it's an acknowledgement. It's a, it's a fact. Robert Gibbs was just stating a pure fact that there are enough seats. In play for there to potentially have the Congress in balance, but that's not something you typically hear from the White House press secretary. So I think you're right. It's about motivating the base. Basically, it, rather than running in place, Democrats realize they need to run scared. Is that motivate? Because I would think that would be so uninspiring. I mean, does, yeah. does, if someone says to me, "Oh well, we're losing. This is really going to be bad. This is going to be bleak," you know, I want to you know head for the head for the hills. I don't feel inspired to go out and you know and you know rally the troops. Well, I think I think if you if you let people know the stakes of this, that's something that the White House wants to telegraph. They've talked over and over again about this needing to be a choice election as opposed to a referendum. You see that in the numbers as well. If this is a choice, then Democrats have a chance. If this is a referendum and people say yes or no to the party in power, we see in these numbers in many other places, it's not going to be good for but them. But that's not the strategy. I mean, that may be the strategy of the White House to sort of, you know, right. tell everyone what's at stake here. But when you have, you have Cap 
Capitol Hill saying just the opposite. No, that's not going to happen. So it doesn't sound like they're on the same page in terms of strategy. And they are the same party, and they both have the same uh, goal. Well, the White House doesn't think it's going to happen either. They're saying that it, at least the math is there to make it possible. So on one level, I think it's truth-telling. On the other level, it's about it's about basically scaring people into into realizing what's going on here. I think from the from the Hill perspective, from a lot of Democrats on the Hill say it's not a helpful message from the White House. They'd rather not hear that because they think it actually fuels the other side. If the Republicans believe they have a chance, that really does motivate their base. Are the Democrats worried? Oh, yeah. They terrified, or terrified or just uh, slightly worried? The, you know, one thing I think is different this time around than in 1994 is Democrats have been worried for a long time. They have seen this coming. They've done everything they possibly can to build the bulwarks and to, yeah. to try to hold this on. All right, Rick, thank you. Thanks, Greta.